So it's big boy chess. I have big boy chess. Death in the air in Syria. So last night you saw bombs falling over Syria, right? And they're pointing, oh, everybody's pointing the finger, they're blaming the, the blame game, right? This ties into what I was talking about this weekend about the military industrial complex. So you're starting to see it play out, right? The markets, <laughs> the markets hit an all time, you know, they, they hit record highs and then they top out. And you see a reversal pattern, and then you start to see this happen. Blame game, right? You got Lindsey Graham talking on read, talking on TV this morning, telling Mr. President, you need to, you need to do something about Syrian government, or, and Mr. Hassan, or fuck if you fuck if you that. That old bullshit. You got, you got John McCain coming back, right? They're getting desperate now. John McCain is talking about you got to revive the TPP, <laughs> get the globalists back in play. Who pays the price? Right? Who pays the price? It's the young people. 17 to 24, that's just going to go fight in Syria. They, they're, they're looking for their war. Right? See, the thing, the, the trap right here is to get involved. The Syria thing has been going on for a while, right? We all, we, we know that, right? It's a power play. It's, it's you know, it's a, it's a civil war. We, should, we shouldn't be there. We should be leaving them alone. I don't know all the details of it. I know that there's... Whenever you blow up a country and take out the president, you, you, you create a power vacuum, and then in come the kooks, right? In come the, the terrorists, in come the, the, uh, the, it's a power vacuum, right? That always happens when you destabilize a nation, right? So, so there you have it. That's, the solution is not to, see, the, logic says, oh, we're going to try to figure it out, right? <laughs> Trump, they're trying to drag Trump into the insurgency war, right? You even got Trump now saying it's it's uh, Russia, you know, <laughs> that there's a price to pay and all this shit, right? They're trying to get that war, man. They're going to try to get that war. But who pays? That's what I want to talk about. That's what I want people to realize, that 180,000 young people every year Every year, markets are up right now. Futures are up. Pow! I looked at da the Nasdaq this morning. Dow, everything's up. New York Stock Exchange futures up 180 points. Pow! Business. We're gonna get our war. All right. That's what this is all about. It's all about the. It's all about what, you know. President Eisenhower said coming out of the 40s. He warned us on his on his way out of the military industrial complex. Do not uh, 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 the military industrial complex. And what is that? It's business, right? Jerk offs like Lindsey Graham and John McCain and Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all these guys, right? They don't get they don't they don't know anything. You, this is who you're trusting. Young people in uniform. You're putting your faith in what Nancy Pelosi says, or Donald Trump says, or, or you know, these people don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know what they're talking about. They're gonna, they're dragging you into a, they're dragging you into a chess game so that their shareholders can make more money. That's all it is. Right? That's the message. That's our message. Defect. What's it called? Dessert. Dessert. Not the kind of dessert you eat, but dessert, get out. Don't join. That's the message to young people, millennials, wake the fuck up. Right? You have the power to stop it. They're playing you, right? You can't fight a war. You can't you, none of this could happen without your without your boots on the ground. Without you getting into their expensive planes, the killing machines and and firing the guns and the, you know, the bombs and the planes, right? It's grotesque misdirection. So, what changed? You know, Syria, it's nothing changed, right? Now they're going to push the plain, blame game and try to pull U.S., you know, maybe Israel threw it, maybe, you know, maybe the U.S. did it, maybe Russia threw the bomb. Who the fuck knows? You know, who cares? Really? 
uh, and I don't say it insensitively to the people of Syria. My my heart, you know, goes out to those, to the folks that are getting hit by these, you know, ridiculous, reasonless bombs and the being held hostage in their own country by terrorists. But you have to back it up. You know, that's what, that's what that's what oligarchy likes, right? Because the answers again are in the stock market. It's a business. We've turned killing into a into a all out business. And here at home, you have the United States, object poverty, arguably a depression, right? Velocity of money is lower than it was in the forties and the fifties and the sixties. Right? We're, although we have granted, we don't have horses dead horses laying in the street in New York and you know, there's far less homelessness. But object poverty, where people are trapped and they can't, they can't move around. They're given just enough to not complain, right? That's what's going on. And when you break the when you break the oligarchy grip, starting with war, insurgency wars, we have no business doing that. It does not have anything to do with homeland security. It has nothing to do with prosperity at home. Right, the arts. Where's the arts? You know? Where's the arts? You know, people don't. People are silenced. It's pretty ugly. The bombs will keep falling. Watch the markets. Stock market holds the answer. Young people, don't join. Defect.